Hey guys, Samantha here. So, on the topic of the ethical slut, Janet Hardy, Dossie Easton, uh, the first topic I really wanted to cover with you guys was starvation economics. If you have the third updated and revised edition and paperback, it's on page 28. That's where they really talk about that, in case you're following along. Uh, so basically, starvation economics is saying, hey, we have a limited amount of resources, and you have to fight for your portion of those resources. It's like having a pie, each person gets a piece. Once all the pieces are gone, there's no more. That's it. You give, if you give up your piece of the pie, then you're not gonna get it back. Basically, super simplified, but you get what I'm saying. So applying that to love, uh, really the simplest example is in reference to a child. So just for this example, let's say there's a married couple they have a small child, maybe four or five, six years old, something like that. They have a new baby or they bring a new pet home. That new pet, that new baby, whatever it is, whoever it is, takes a lot of their attention, a lot of their time, and that child feels as though love is being taken away from them and give to that new, given to that new member of the family. That's kind of a basic way that it can get into our heads when we're young. Of course, there are families where, you know, parents will sit down with that child and explain that that's not what's going on, help them understand. Some children are mature enough to understand that's not the issue anyways, but this is just an example of how starvation economics can be applied to love at even a young age. And then you grow up with that idea that if someone loves someone else, there's less love for me. They only have so much love. So one big principle, and this is a true for this book as well as for pretty much all non non-monogamous ethical relationships tongue twister there is that there is an abundance of love that humans capacity to love is almost infinite if not infinite that you can always create more love there are real world time boundaries but there is no boundary on your love so one thing that they talk about in the book is differentiating between real world boundaries, time boundaries, and starvation economics. So, so starvation economics is saying, hey, if my husband, wife, partner, girlfriend, whatever, loves somebody else, there's less love for me. That's starvation economics applied to love. Real world boundaries is, hey, just because I love somebody else doesn't mean they love me any less, but there are still constraints on their time. There's only 24 hours in a day, only so many dates you can go on, only so many text messages you can send. And if they're spending so many hours a night after work with this person, there will be less time for me. So that's an important distinction uh, in talking about any ethical non-monogamous relationships, polyamory, polygamy, any of them. Um, there's a variety of other ones out there, but that's a really important basic concept just something to remember. So all these videos, by the way, are gonna be pretty short little snippets of concepts and just quick FYIs, we're gonna put them in a playlist. Uh, but that's the skinny on starvation economics. Yeah.